Okay. So, I'm gonna be 3D scanning this. Ooh, that's gonna have to have some weight on it. But, that's okay. I just need to tie this onto here. Let this have some distance. And then I'll add weight. You're like, why are you tying it with some invisible string? Some fishing line. This isn't fishing line. This is flexible, clear, 3D printing plastic. Why? Because I don't have my fishing rod or fishing string here. And this is somewhat strong enough to hold what I need to do. I just need something heavy enough to stick on each chair. center so I can get a really really good scan you're like oh why aren't you hanging it for one thing well because if I did that it would not give me a second take my computer. Oh, it's been recording for too long. Whoopsies. And record. Okay, here we go. So, I'm just gonna get front face of it. Well, you guys can see this. Is that what you're making the model of? Yeah, so I'm making a, a, a I'm, I'm trying to get the whole thing, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to make, because then I can turn it into a solid object and make a mold mm -hmm. out of this, and then I'll make it out of carbon fiber, because then I can make some money here in school, yeah. because... You can sell it for pretty good. Oh yeah, probably yeah. an air cover like this uh, are really expensive for the OEM type, mm -hmm. but if it was carbon fiber, I can probably price it in a decent good spot, so. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I wonder why this isn't happy. Oh, you dumb computer. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's, that's fine. Oh, this is going to be such a, a nice skin if it comes out correctly. The bright light is kind of hard to get rid of, but given my circumstance here in my own bedroom, oh, 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 not the right location. Come on. right spot. I'm gonna have to move this 
way so I can use my own shadow. gonna finish that because then oh that's much nicer than the last one the last one was not super pretty or close enough to what I desire so this is the process that it's taking to actually render the front cover for this air box it takes a while because I am on a MacBook I will be getting a Windows computer very, very soon, and with that, it should speed up this rendering time, which will be very nice, in my opinion, because it takes, as you can see, a, a decent amount of time to do so. But this project should be very fun for me to do. I will learn a lot of different things. I'm trying to do this on a budget because... Well, I'm in college and I don't have a job and the, the jobs around me are not hiring because everybody else is working there. But if I can do this, I should surely be able to make my own business. And that is the ultimate goal that I'm trying to do. So that's really what I'm doing at this point. The rest of this video is time-lapsed so you guys can see what this finished project would look like fully scanned, fully rendered, and basically in its pure form in the model. After that, I'll show you my process in taking this into a solid object and then making a mold out of that. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video of me working on a 3D scan of a air filter cover box for my car. My car is an HHRSS, I've had it since I was 16 years old. And I've just been building it up ever since then. I'm turning 21, so I have, I've been driving it for about five years now. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. My t Instagram is the same as my YouTube and my TikTok. So you guys can follow my progress there as well. I'll probably post there more daily instead of here. Uh, it's a lot more challenging for me to do YouTube videos. But eventually I'll get into the hang of it. I'm just a full-time student, so it's just time-consuming for me. But see you guys.